windshield of these cars were allegedly shattered by some people who invaded the Potakot residence of Senator Lee Meba on Thursday morning. He claims that the people who invaded his home came for his life, but in his absence, decided to vandalize his property and injured his brother. I started having phone call from the neighborhood that um, they said talks have pushed the shot at my gate, destroyed the padlock, they started jumping all over the place, tried the gates open, tie up the security. My senior brother was somewhere in the gym, they pounced on him. He tried to run, they told him, where is your brother? One bullet will solve this article problem now. They mentioned that. They mentioned that, they mentioned that they are challenging the governor that one bullet will solve this problem today. They tried to force into the door. The door was security protected. They couldn't enter, but so they avenged their anger on all the cars here. The situation is, who tried to kill me? Why? Because the young man said he was sent, they were sent by, they mentioned the council chairman that they were sent and that if they don't do that, he will lose his job. Some boys, group of boys, there are more than 50, more than. So the gate was locked. It was when he left, he said, I should lock the gate. I locked the gate. So I was hearing a lot of noises. So I just slide the, the small uh, gate open. I saw a group of boys, they jumped the gate and was forcing the padlock gate, they opened, then they went inside and caught me, they tied me up. So at the point they carried the phone, carried my phone and the Motorola we are using and left. But the, the, the equipment they used, different kind of equipment, tried destroying the cars. Up to now, I've not, I've not experienced such before, so I'm seeing it in a shock. Lee Meba says he later put a distress call to the River State Commissioner of Police, Okon Efiok, but received no response from the police chief. I've called the Commissioner of Police so many times, he did not respond to me. I even sent him a text. I even sent him a text. Then later, when the boys have receded, uh, people who were here snapped me pictures of this destruction. I sent it to the Commissioner of Police, he did not respond. They have not even called me till now. After about two hours, when I got back home, I saw two men. Two policemen, and so they were sent by the commissioner of police to come and assess what happened. I said, the commissioner of police received a district call. I called the SSS, I'm sure they called the police commissioner that I'm under attack. I called the IG, I couldn't reach him. I sent him the picture of what was happening in my house. No response. But when Arise News contacted the River State Commissioner of Police via telephone, he said he was unavailable when the senator made the call, but said investigation has commenced.